Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers, and I'm back with a really fun project today. We're going to make something um, that honors Earth Day, and we're going to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So I have a tank top that I never wore, and I really love it, but I just, I never wore it, and I know I won't wear it in the future. So I am going to reuse it and make it into something else. So it's just um, jersey knit. And we are going to make some t-shirt yarn today. I've made so many necklaces in the past with t-shirt yarn, um, but I want to do a new spin today using some Jesse James beads. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the t-shirt yarn and um, then we're, I'm going to show you what to do with it. So I have the tank top. I've just kind of spread it out on my worktop here and I'm going to cut in strips. So we see, and you could do se this several different ways, but we see the seam here on one side. So I'm laying one seam that way. This is the back of the um, tank top and then I'm laying this seam at the other end and I am just there's a logo on the front that I don't want to include so I'm just gonna cut it in half to remove that logo okay I'll put that part of the shirt to the side we can use that for a different pro project so now I have the bottom half of my tank top and I'm just going to leave it in that same position and I am going to cut straight lines up to two inches from the seam. Okay, so we're going to make sure our seam is at the top and pull it evenly so it lays flat and then I'm going to cut in strips up to two inches away from that seam. So you can use a rotary cutter and um, a ruler if you'd like. I don't have a rotary cutter. I do have a ruler that's a quilting ruler, but I don't have a rotary cutter at the moment. And this project's all about using what you have, recycling what you have. So I'm just going to cut um, probably like one inch strips all the way up to two inches away from my seam so I have some fabric scissors that I use and they don't I mean it doesn't really have to be the these perfect cuts because I'll show you what's gonna help us um, make it look good in a few moments all right so we're about inch inch and a half two inches away from the top I can't really tell from there <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do that all the way up I apologize. The part where I did this with the black uh, t-shirt yarn wasn't, it, there was a technical difficulty and it didn't film or I lost the footage. Um, so I'm going to, I just recreated what I just showed you with a gray shirt and we're going to go ahead and make a continuous piece. So we have that little part where we didn't cut all the way to the seam. And what I'm going to do is flip it open this way. So now we see both sides like that okay so what I'll do here is I'm going to start on the left and cut in a diagonal to the next open slit so that would be the edge so I'm going to take my piece here and I'm going to go over to the edge and cut and I'm going to repeat that through each one of these. So I'm going to take the next one over and go on a diagonal. To the next slit. And that's what's going to keep your piece um, almost as an infinity loop <laughs> until you cut the ends. So we're going to keep going. Now, if you wanted separate loops, that's totally fine. All you'd have to do is instead of going on a diagonal like this, just cut all the way across. And I'll show you, there are advantages to doing that uh, because this will have, because there's a seam, there are going to be some um, uh, little seams in, in your yarn. And if you can find a shirt without seams, that would be best. But if you don't need a continuous yarn piece, then the seams wouldn't matter especially if you just want to recycle or reuse a, uh, a uh, t-shirt. And 
There is so much you can do with these. Today I'm going to show you a multi-strand necklace, but um, I've made braided t-shirt yarn necklaces, um, bracelets, a whole bunch of different stuff. And then we'll go here. And there you go. And I'll show you how to make the rest of the t-shirt yarn. Now that I have a continuous piece, I am just going to stretch. And this, um, like I said earlier, this shirt had um, seams on the sides, so we're gonna see those in here, but I don't I don't really mind them. We could put knots there. Um, or if you do mind the seams, or if you do mind the seams, you can just trim them out and you'll just, you won't have a continuous piece, like there's a seam right there, but you'll just have some pieces of uh, t-shirt yarn. So we're gonna continue to stretch, just like we do stretch cord when we're making a bracelet. And it's pulling these flat pieces into a rope, which is super fun and a great new way to have a piece of cord. Um, maybe you've been wanting to try um, a ribbon or silk or leather look and you didn't want to invest in that yet and this can test it out for you to see if that's some way you'd like to go. Um, so, and it's a great way to reuse our clothing so they don't end up in a landfill. So we'll just keep pulling, just keep pulling, and you could do this more than once if you'd like. And then that seam was a little weak, so we'll just keep this piece for later if we need it. All right, so I'm going to wind up my t-shirt yarn. Okay, so we have a ball of yarn here. If you use, if you have a regular size t-shirt, um, you'll get a lot more than this. This was a small tank top. So since we're doing Earth Day projects, I brought out a bunch of green and blue because first of all, green and blue are my favorite colors. <laughs> but um, I thought, you know, let's, uh, green and blue are, are Earth's colors and maybe a little bit of brown, but I don't think I brought, oh, I brought out some orange. So, I'm not quite sure. I think we should definitely use some of this green mamba, at least get in these cute little charms. Um, I'm liking these, they look very earthy. Oh, and then we have some really pretty shell beads in here. What's in Swiss chard? Oh, we've got some cute little, uh, we've got a cute little dragonfly, some um, gemstone beads, some stone beads, which are definitely earthy. And then we have this ocean color mix, bead mix from Color Trends. And then to bring in some earthy colors, we'll be using the Aventura weights. All right, so I think I want to do just a really fun, um, maybe multi-strand necklace with this. So I'm just gonna put these on the ends and get some metal beads going in here. Just laying out a simple pattern with our um, different earthy 
mixes here. Put a little dragonfly right there. And then I'm just going to put one little leaf off to this side of the necklace. We will do Okay, so I'm going to get some bead stringing wire. I'm using 19 strand bead on in gold. And then I am going to string my first set of beads here, starting right here. And then I need to get a jump ring and put it through my um, little dragonfly. And then we'll just string that on. And keep going. Now I am going to um, cut this off of my strand and then keep it aside. I might want to add to it in just a moment. So I will leave that right here. So cute. And then I am going to start again with my second strand, leaving these beads up the side. I'm not going to put those on at the moment, starting with this orange bead. So our second piece is a little bit shorter than our first, and that's what we want in a double strand necklace. Um, however, I do want to add just a couple beads to make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put these little hearts on because they're super cute. So I'll put the heart on the other side once I um, get to that side. I'm going to line up my two ends of my wire. And then I'm gonna feed on my boho bead. Now this is hollow, so it might be a little difficult getting both of those through. You just kind of got to work at it until you can get it because it'll be super cute when we get it through there. And you could probably do one at a time. So we've got that on and then we're going to line those two up next to that boho bead. See if it looks okay. Yep, looks great. Super cute. I'm loving the color mix here. And then uh, I'm gonna grab a silver jump ring. We're gonna put on our little Monstera. both pieces. Let it fall down to right there. And then I am going to put on my bicone. My, uh, I think I want to put a, oh, these are cute. Little, it's like a little acrylic and gold bead. 
and then a crystal. And then we'll just put a little gold bead right here. And I think that's cute. We're gonna do the exact same thing up the other side. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cute. Um, and now we're gonna work in our t-shirt yarn. We have so. my yarn ball, and I'm actually going to cut um, a few different pieces. Uh, so I'm gonna cut right at that seam right here, trim it here. I'm gonna put two together. This will be for the first side of the necklace. I'm just gonna trim that at the same length. And I also have some gold donut chains. So we're gonna cut off the jump ring from one side. I won't need it. Like that. And then I'm gonna cut this jump ring because I won't need it. Now there are two different sizes of the donut on this donut chain and I'm using a larger hole. So um, if you see here, this one has a smaller hole, that one has a larger, I'm using the larger hole. So I'm going to take my t-shirt yarn. I'm going to make a loop and now this is two pieces. So I'm going to make just a loop like that. Okay. And I'm going to stick that through my donut chain, leaving the jump ring down at the bottom. So I'm going to pull this through like that. And I'm going to open my loop and pull my donut, I'm sorry, pull my t-shirt yarn through, making a knot. We're going to tighten just like that. Isn't that cool? So we have a nice corded knot there and we can trim that a little later. If you'd like, you can, oh, you could totally put beads on here, larger hole beads and have it be a little bit more decorative. I'm going to slide that over this hole that we covered up and I'm going to do that again on the other side. Right now, I'm going to take my two wires, and actually, I'm gonna remove this jump ring here. You can open it up. I'm just gonna cut it off. And I'm gonna take a crimp bead, or a crimp tube, whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna slide it on both pieces of wire. And I'm gonna come through my donut and back through my crimp. I'm gonna flat crimp this because um, it's a little bit easier than trying to folded crimp two pieces of bead stringing wire. So I'm gonna get that as closely as possible up to my donut. Take my crimping pliers and flat crimp. that and I'll just grab a crimp bead cover and cover that up I'm actually going to trim my wires before I do that I'm going to trim these wires as closely as possible and then I'm going to grab um, any crimp cover I'm using a more decorative one but I'm just going to slide that over my crimp bead and close it. There we go. Move our beads down and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side of the necklace. Okay, so we have our really cute strung necklace. I only did the um, leaf on one side to make it, kind of balance it out with the dragonfly. Um, I really kind of like how the extra pieces look off to the side. It gives it a little, uh, boho look and um, I think it's fun and uh, we have a couple options to close off the necklace however I, if I was just keeping this necklace I would use it as um, I would just tie a bow in the back every time I wore it and that way it allows me to choose how long I want my necklace to be each time I wear the necklace so I would do it like this
because these strands are long enough that um, you can do a really cute bow in the back. And then if you're wearing a ponytail that day, you can, or maybe you're you know, wearing it to the beach, you can see a cute little, cute little um, bow in the back. These kind of, it's, it's not really showing on the camera how cute these little side pieces are. So you can like, you can absolutely trim those if you don't like them. If you wanted to use a um, clasp, you can absolutely do that as well. I would recommend using a larger clasp on this necklace. This is a very large claw from Jesse James Beats, and I'll show you how you would connect it. So for this um, necklace, I would tie both on one side together, pretty far down. So about inch, uh, about two to three inches down make a knot and then I would trim the shorter one so I would trim this one and then I will bring my end of my t-shirt yarn kind of trim this a little bit to make it look a little nicer and get it through there a little bit better Put our t-shirt yarn through our clasp. Pull it through and then just tie a knot. And you don't need glue on this. It's very tight in there. And then I'll trim the excess. And then there we have a cute little clasp. And then um, grab a huge jump ring or a ring that you'd like for the other side. I just have a 10 millimeter jump ring. We'll take these ends and do the same thing. You can cut, you can um, knot one right here and then use just one to tie around the jump ring or you can just knot them both. And I'm gonna knot them both on this one. down and just tighten and we have a loop now we can just trim our excess clasp it together and you have a cute long um, double strand necklace just like this. And I will actually take photos with these on it and then take them off and show you a different photo to show you what they look like. I hope you enjoyed that necklace. Um, let me know if you decide to make some t-shirt yarn and reuse, reduce and recycle those products you that you have in your house that you can reimagine in a different way. Thanks to Jesse James Beads. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Bye-bye. What you doing, pretty girl? Why are you behind your bed? What you doing? What you doing? Is it too warm? Ain't too warm to be in your bed. You're a silly girl. Say hi, everybody. Hello.